Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about the topic the develop project management plan. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting especially if you have interest in project management or you are planning to give exam of PMP in near future. So let's uh, start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. Friend, develop project management plan is the process of defining, preparing and coordinating all subsidiary plans and integrating them into a comprehensive project management plan. The key benefit of this process is a central document that defines the basis of all project work. The project management plan process covers all activities that identify and direct the actions of many other processes in the planning process group. Developing the project management plan includes coordinating the development of the subsidiary plans and incorporating them into the complete project plan. The main purpose of the project management plan is to define how the project is to progress from its beginning to completion. In short, the project management plan provides the high level uh, things for how the project moves through its life cycle. PMI defines many uh, potential subsidiary plans that make up the overall project management plan. These subsidiary plans provide the specific details for managing each project, each aspect of the project from initiation through closure. The subsidiary project management plans could include the communication management plan, cost management plan, process improvement plan, procurement management plan, project scope management plan, quality management plan, risk, schedule, staffing, etc. Then uh, friend, we can move towards the uh, inputs and outputs of this process. Uh, like what are the inputs and outputs of this process? So uh, first one is uh, the input is for this process is the project charter. Okay. So uh, this is the first and the most important uh, uh, input for the uh, uh, this process. Uh, okay. So first project charter means is the basically the first important thing like uh, it includes the uh, you can consider this as the uh, uh, first thing uh, through which we can say a project is basically initiated then the preliminary project scope statement the preliminary project scope statement forms the basis of the scope section of the project management plan and includes a description of the scope its boundaries and the major deliverable then project management process uh, project management processes are descriptions of how the project will be managed. For example, communication management at your company might include status update included in the project uh, bulletin board. Then organizational process assets. Uh, organizational process assets are resources, procedures or processes from any or all of the organizations involved in the project that influence the process or outcome of a project. Plans, policies, procedures and guidelines may be used to develop the project management plan. For example, the process of installing uh, net uh, uh, new equipment in the data center is a part of the process of the organization. Another is the skill set of current employees. Enterprise environmental factor Enterprise environmental factor occur within and outside an organization from any or all of the organizations involved in the project that may affect the project outcome. Factors such as company's culture and market conditions may be used to develop the project management plan. A key aside is the project management plan needs to consider any conditions or factors that might impact it. Thankfully, there are tools and techniques that can be used when developing the project management plan. These tools and techniques are project management methodology, Project management methodology is an organized approach to creating a project management plan. Methodologies can be simple or complex depending on the project type and the needs of the performing organization. Project management information system. Uh, a PMI is a 
PMIS is a typically a computer driven system that helps a team develop the project plan. It can calculate schedule, cost, uh, probable outcomes and expectations. It can also publish the approval document. Uh, expert judgment. Expert judgment is uh, relied upon to develop technical and managerial details to be included in the project management plan. Expert judgment is the technical and management expertise of the project management team. For example, an experienced employee and an organization will have more insights into corporate culture than a new hire. Now we have the inputs, tools and technique to use uh, to create a project management plan. The next step is actually having the plan and its components. The project management plan consists of 11 core components for executing monitoring and controlling. There may be more but uh, the 11 is the good place to start. The 11 core components of a project management plan are the processes determined by the project management team, the implementation level of each process chosen by the project management team, the description of the tools and technique to be used for accomplishing the process, the chosen part, life cycle and related project phases okay uh, then uh, the uh, how the selected processes will be used to manage the specific project how work will be executed to achieve the project objectives how changes will be monitored and controlled how configuration management will be performed how project management baseline will be maintained communication techniques among stakeholders when management reviews will be scheduled to address issues and pending decisions. Another way to uh, go about developing a project management plan is gathering and collecting all subsidiary plans in the project management plan. Subsidiary plans are the outputted document for planning from a knowledge area. These can also be included in the project management plan. These plans are the scope management plan, the schedule management plan, the cost management plan, the communication management plan, the process improvement plan, the staffing management plan, the quality management plan, the risk management plan and the procurement management plan. When you create and follow a project management plan that is composed of the nine subsidiary plans, you will have a map that will guide your decisions and actions and help you reach your desired destination, a successful project. It is also a mistake to assume that the project plan is developed at one point in time. In truth, although it is an output within the executing process group and forms part of the integration knowledge area, it relies on outputs from the quality, human resource, communication, risk and procurement knowledge areas to be fully assembled for the first time. Since the project management plan consists of many other major planning output it can also it can only be assembled after such component plans have been created the project management plan represents 13 components plan which are aggregated together to become the project plan itself actually uh, so friend uh, thank you thanks a lot for watching the video i hope uh, you like this video if you like it please share it with the friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video thank you friends